Now, seeing as we've got the engine up in on the bench, it's another good idea to replace this pipe because it's really awkward to change when it's on the car. This goes from the back of the water pump up here and into the inlet manifold, heats the inlet manifold and goes into the head. And it's a particular shape and it's got several twists and turns as it has to fit down under, under here and clip on. It's way easier now because we haven't got everything else in the way. So I'm making it look far, far easier than it is if you had it in the car. That is effectively it in place. Nicely shaped pipe. And then all we've got to do is tighten up the clamps. Apart from these are aftermarket, these particular ones, uh, various different manufacturers of hose clips. Always a good idea to use a quality one or quality ones when fitting hoses because you really don't want them to break or fail in service. So it's false economy in my opinion to use cheap ones. Additionally, if they've got uh, a head on them like, like they have here, you can actually get more purchase on with a small socket. Tightness, Tightness again, you're, you're just tightening up on the, on the rubber. It doesn't have to be overly tight. You don't have to go cut through the rubber. So as long as it's not going to pull the pipe off, and remember that the, pressure, the cooling system is under slight pressure when it's operating, uh, only 4 PSI, but it's some, so they have to be tight enough to ins ensure a good seal.